Good God. I'd better get it insured then. And what you've got here is a pilot's watch. Pilot's? A pilot's watch. Yes, in fact, if you actually put it, it's somewhat large yeah. for everyday yeah. wear. And they were worn outside, probably on a big leather or fleece flying jacket. Yes, sir. And you wore them yeah. with a long strap actually outside, so you yeah. could read it when you were in the cockpit. Yeah. And it, the date of this one, uh, we'll see inside, there should be the marks of Omega, the manufacturer, the numbers, but there's also the import hallmarks. Yeah. And the letter R, which I think is 1912. Yeah. So basically, it's a First World War pilot's watch. Yeah. And hence the, the very clear white dial with the black numbers. Have you had this valued? Um, oh, tell me where you got it, actually. It's quite well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I got it. I bought it of a chap that was dealing in bric-a-brac in Newport Market in South Wales some um, 20 years ago, 22 mm -hmm. years ago. And there was trouble with the watch. It wasn't keeping time. It was stopping. So he said, if you let me have it back, he said, I know a man that can get it fixed, but you'll have to pay. What did you pay him? Um, oh, what is it? it was 70 or 80 pounds. And I think I gave him about a tenner to get it fixed, which was a lot that's, of money. That's and, a lot of money. Yeah. 20 mm. years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah. Mm. Well. As a watch, it's probably worth, in fact, more like a couple of thousand or so. Yeah. But this is a repair bill. Yeah. Yeah. 1933. Yeah. Made out to a T.E. Shaw of Clouds Hill, Morriton and Dorset. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Do you know who he is? No, I haven't got a clue. It's Lawrence of Arabia. Good God. If I'm correct. Yeah. After the First World War, yeah. he was a somewhat of a complex character, mm. and he rejoined, I think, didn't he rejoin the RAF under the name of Shaw? Yeah. And I think he was killed under the name of Shaw on his motorcycle when dressed in RAF Good kit. God. To be honest, to be perfectly honest with you, I always thought he was a fiction of car um, a character of fiction, I did. No, no, no. no. It's the, it's the T.E. Lawrence of... Well, as you say, of the marvellous film, yeah, well, and he wrote the book. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing the film years and years ago. But, um, but I reckon that, and he lived, I'm sure. Yeah, my recollection is he lived at Clouds Hill yeah. in Dorset. Good God. And it's actually his watch, probably returned to him in 1930, having been cleaned, under the name, the pseudonym that he'd adopted. Good God. So. Yeah. A um, couple of grand, a couple of half grand, as just as a watch. Yeah. How much you could add for the Lawrence connection, I don't know. He's one of the most fascinating characters of the early part of this century. Yeah. I would... It, it's a guess. I'd double that, maybe yeah. five, maybe ten. Good God. I'd better get it insured then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>